just, I don't know. It's not even that I'm personally offended, but it's just like, what makes you think that your clothing is worth this much? Hello to everybody and their moms. It's your girl Kristen here and welcome back to my channel. First things first, yes, you read the title correctly. Today we're going to be DIYing Denzel Dion's brand new clothing line. If you're not familiar with Denzel Dion or his clothing line or any of this, have no fear. We are actually gonna talk about all of that and then I'll get to the DIY. Um, before we get started, a couple things I want you to do for me. Number one, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And the second thing is before every single one of Denzel Dion's videos or the ones that I've seen, he always says, I said what I said, I meant what I said, and I said what I meant, period. If you don't like it, sweetie, bye, to the loo, click off, okay? He always says this. So I feel like it's only fair for me to keep the same energy. Um, so Denzel, if you're watching, this is just, this is your warning. But let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, who is Denzel Dion? If you don't know who he is, I'm sure you know who one of his best friends is, which is Ricky Thompson. Uh, Ricky Thompson is like a viral sensation. Like every other week he's hilarious, but that is one of his best friends. And so Denzel Dion on his channel, um, because I used to be an avid fan, I used to watch all of his videos, Denzel likes to talk about fashion. So something I would always tune in on would be his videos where he would like rate the best and worst dressed at any sort of major event that's happening in pop culture. Um, and he would give his honest opinions about it. So it only makes sense that Denzel would eventually launch his own fashion brand. However, it's been getting a lot of backlash and I kind of want to show you guys, if you're not familiar, um, the reason why. So first things first, we're actually going to go ahead and look at the promo video that he posted on his Twitter. So watching the video again, I am um, still confused if I'm being honest with you. Um, first though, I wanna mention the things I do like because I'm not a mean person, okay? Um, I like his logo. I think his logo is very cool and unique. Um, if you were not able to pick up, it is Dion spelled backwards. So I think that that's really smart. Um, also, uh, I really think that the models that he chose are absolutely gorgeous and they happen to have a really nice range in diversity um, complexion wise and also gender wise. Um, however, if you notice there were not really any plus size models and that's something else I'll touch upon later. Now, let's get into the things I didn't really like. For one, what is going on? I feel like the concept is very confusing. Um, where are they leaving? They're not wearing prison gear, but at the same time, I'm like, are y'all escaping a mental asylum? Like, what's going on? I don't really know where we're running from. Also, I'll be honest, with the first glance, that did not sell me on the clothing at all. Um, typically, whenever I watch ads and stuff like that, you know, of certain fashion brands and what they are selling, you know, you want it to be something that's like, oh my God, I really, I need to get myself in this. And none of those pieces really stood out to me like that. We're gonna go check out his website right now so you guys can all get a full glance and also we can talk about prices. Okay, so the first thing I'm noticing, this graphic is very cool. Um, I like the way it looks. I think it's uh, giving me a futuristic vibe, which is really nice, but. <laughs> For me, it's the prices, love. Okay, so let's be honest with ourselves. Who in their right mind is paying $150 for this? I just, I'm just lost is what I'm saying. Because when you're looking at the core cut top 2.0, 
there was this hand moment, kind of like a glove. And I used to be a runner, so we used to have those on our Nike gear, so whenever you would run. So I'm just confused as to why that's there. It's supposed to be worn for like sporting events where we trying to be unique. Like, I just don't get it. Yeah, no, I just, $175 for some shorts, that's, we tried it, we tried it. No, like why? I always say to myself, we live in a Fenty world. Okay, and what I mean by that, yes, I'm referring to Rihanna, right, with Fenty because she changed the game in so many ways. But also what I mean by this is, you're having your stuff cost the same amount as Miss Fenty? And if y'all did not know, Miss Fenty has a clothing line and so I'll enter some photos, but like, you're telling me your clothes are worth the same amount as hers? I don't think so. I don't, personally, I don't think so. Also, Rihanna is a big name in pop culture, right? So it makes a lot of sense for her to create a fashion line. Um, but also I feel like her prices as a luxury brand are very reasonable. Um, Denzel, I believe tweeted out like, oh, well, this is not merch. It's, you know, it's a fashion line. That's great, but also like a lot of people don't know you. That's just what I'm gonna say. And I know that sounds really mean, but it's like, a lot of people don't know who Denzel Dion is. So to start your brand out with these heavy prices does not make a lot of sense. And from like a marketing standpoint, there are three things you should always take into consideration. So number one, your demographic. Who are you reaching out to? Who is your target audience? Um, based off of who used to watch his videos, I would assume 18 to 24 year old people, right? So when looking at those people, you have to ask yourself, do they have $150 to drop on something like this? Second thing to take into consideration, if you're like, yes, they do. Heck, I don't, you know, I'm not reaching out to the broke kids. That's fine, that's cool. However, we're existing during a pandemic, okay? COVID-19 kind of exists. So it's really important to look and take that into consideration. Let's talk about inclusivity. So looking at this brand, okay, I don't see the options, okay? I don't see it being inclusive at all. And if that's not your target audience, again, like that's fine. However, um, because I look at the shirt like this, right? I'm looking at the cord top. For anybody, anybody who has any sort of a bust, okay? How are they supposed to wear this? And you know, a lot of people could be like, well, maybe it's just intended for the male audience. Denzel has literally tweeted that, yeah, the brand itself is his name backwards, but it also is no ID, which means that his stuff is genderless, which means that you can fit it and wear it no matter what gender you are. That's great. So that brings me back to my point. How am I supposed to wear this? You offered multiple sizes, but if you notice, like literally his nipples are about to show. How is anybody with a bust supposed to wear this? And if you look at the back, we see how it is completely open. So there's no support whatsoever. You're excluding people when you release stuff like this. So after experiencing this frustration, I have to be honest, I looked at this top right here, the core cut top. Like Denzel says, I said what I said, I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. This right here looks like a girl is wearing a tank top and her bra straps have fallen onto her arms. That's literally what it looks like to me. And then she has a cut in the stomach. So I thought to myself, you know what? You wanna charge $175 for this. This does not include shipping at all. You don't have the inclusivity that I'm looking for, right? Let me like test it up myself and see if I can recreate it. So I did. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I did it right now. Okay, so first things first, you're going to need a regular regular tank top. This is one that I had in my closet because I didn't feel like buying anything, but you know what? I can link you guys one in the description below from Walmart. So first things first, I'm looking at this tank top. Notice a couple things. The actual model itself, um, they had more of like a straight line at the top. Mine is curved, but I was like, it's fine. We're just gonna deal with it. Um, the second thing was that my tank top is a little bit longer than the one that Denzel is selling. So I realized that I would just need to cut off a little bit of the excess to give the exact same sort of illusion. So I took a notebook I have and some old makeup, like I'm just gonna be honest, and I just used that as a bit of a marker because I didn't have any chalk. Um, and then once I had it nice and straight, I just cut off the excess. And after cutting it, I was like, oh my God, you know what? I can literally use this to create the little bra strappy sleeves. Um, so yeah, it just ended up working really nicely. So. 
I took the bottom and I pinned it so we could have this really nice straight um, illusion when looking at it. And then I created an invisible hem. I'll have how to do that in the description below. There's a really nice video about that. So I just did that. And then next thing I noticed was, again, the little bra strappy sleeves. So I took the extra fabric that I had and bada boom, bada bing, simply just cut it like literally right where it met like the halfway point. So next, if you notice where the tape top little sleeves end and the little bra strappy sleeves meet, um, I just basically copied that onto what I had and then I pinned them and then I just sewed it. This was not a very specific stitch. I just did it so it would stay in place. Um, and then I was like, wow, not it actually looking similar, not me being on the right track. So next thing I had to do was this little stomach moment, okay? And so I actually took um, the pin itself and it ended up being like what I felt like would be like a good measurement um, Full disclosure if you decide to do this yourself make it a little bit smaller um, Mine was a little bit big, but you get the point create a little oval and then um, I folded it in half So whenever I cut into the fabric itself, we would have a really nice even oval nice little circle moment You know what I'm saying? So I cut it You know created a little hem yet again did the invisible stitch um, I don't know why I got really loud there and hype, but basically y'all that was it. And I mean, looking at them side by side, yikes. So I'm sure some of you are looking at this and you're like, Kristen, this is so ugly. This is my point exactly. Who is wearing this? Who is like, where am I wearing this to, right? Is it giving the same illusion as what Denzel is selling? It is, it is. Is it the same material? No. Is it the same exact essential, you know, like outlined sketch? It sure is. The only difference is that I have a wider hips and a wider stomach. The fact of the matter is, this is not a, this is not a flattering top. This is just not flattering. But when I tell you that it literally took me 30 minutes to recreate this, that's what frustrates me. It should not take me less than an hour to recreate. I shouldn't even be able to recreate it if I'm buying it. That's just how I feel. I just, I don't know. It's not even that I'm personally offended, but it's just like, what makes you think that your clothing is worth this much? But essentially this is the end of the video. Before I go, I do want to simply say though, um, congratulations to Denzel on having his first fashion launch. I know that is something that's big. I'm sure that he had been playing this for a while and I'm sure it probably hurts a lot to have somebody or a lot of the internet to tear apart his work. And I hope that you take this information and use it um, to help make your brand even better and spectacular. Um, especially considering the fact that, you know, you happen to say whatever the heck you want to say about people's clothing. Maybe um, just this once it should be okay to be able to handle the heat back. With that being said, if you happen to enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And also, as I said earlier, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll put the subscriber goal on my screen. Really appreciate it if you guys could help me out with that. Um, also, let me know if you want me to DIY any other clothes from his collection. Um, there are a couple that I was looking at that I feel like I could actually recreate. I'll put those on the screen. So if you would like to see videos on either of those, let me know down below. And I'm pretty sure that's everything. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>